Hello everyone. If you are new to SODEC, today's training will give you some basic concepts about what SODEC can do and how it is going to help you expand your business. SODEC is a one-stop e-commerce management solution for you, and it fits all three types of operations in cross-border e-commerce business cycle. We can summarize them up as three parts based on its type in the cycle. First is pre-sales activities. You can handle listings, inventory, and design templates or promotions here. Number two is sales activities. You can process orders and get back to buyers using our CRM. Number three is after sales activities. When something goes wrong for an order, you can handle the cases and disputes in CRM easily. And with all the sales data, we can generate sales reports for you. Then let's talk about the details of the three types of activities. Of all activities, listing management always comes first. In SODEC, you can manage listings from all accounts and all sites. And with SODEC's bulk action buttons, you can edit quantity, price, postage, title, gallery photo, or other fields all with one click. Also, if you are familiar with Excel, you can upload or modify product data even faster. SODEC allows you to input formatted product data in Excel and upload with photo files, and your listings are ready just in seconds. Next important operation is inventory management. SODEC has warehouse and SKU management center. You can always use SKU settings to affect your listings here. For example, if you have plenty of supplies, you can set listings to refill themselves as they sell. Or if you only have limited supplies and you want listings to hide themselves when SKU goes out of stock or restock themselves when SKU has new stock. You can use SODEC's automation features to do this. You can do a little more about your listings and store, like use better designs or promotions to attract customers, then eventually improve your GMV. SODEC now has more than 100 well-designed free templates for customers. You can choose to use whichever template and make custom changes to them. And there is no limit on how many templates you can use at the same time. Also, you can add related or recommended items in your template. For example, if you are selling a mobile phone, it's very likely that customers would consider mobile phone accessories shown in the same listing. They get more impressions and thus get more chances to be sold. There is one more thing that you can refine, your storefront. This is a place where buyers can view your listings in one page. They can also choose the store category you set to view specific items. If the storefront is made with good sense and item well organized, buyers would definitely love to spend more time in your store. Now you have got your listings and the storefront ready. It's time for some marketing features. eBay offers a type of advertisement called promoted listing. You can decide the percentage of listing price that you are willing to give eBay as ad fee. Then eBay will put your listings on the top of search results and draw traffic to these specific listings. What's even better is that you only pay for the ad after the listing sells. It's a perfect way for your listings to get more visibility from official search results, and thus get more opportunities. Aside from putting listings on ad, you can also put them on different kinds of sales, like markdown sale, which will add a discount mark on your listing in search result and the detail page, or order discount, which will show a discount when buyer checks out and uh, volume pricing, which will show as bulk prices in detail page. You can choose the type of sale that suits you best. Now let's go to the second part of the activities. 
order management. In Solisi, you can do the following things. You can view order. You can link up shipping channel or generate tracking numbers. Mark orders as shipped. Split or combine orders. Download order data or bulk upload tracking numbers. And of course, these actions can be applied to orders from all available marketplaces. Here is a function that is useful throughout sales activities and after sales activities. The CRM, which stands for Customer Relationship Management. This is where you can get closer to your customers. Here you can view and process messages regarding items, messages regarding orders, or respond to offer messages, refund cases, return cases, disputes, and others. And of course, from all eBay accounts. So you have done a lot on all the operations and promotions. And there is finally some numbers for you to look at. We have traffic reports and sales reports. You can view by specific criteria as you want. Then you might know what to do next for your business. Now let's go to SodiEasy and see more real operations. After logging in to SodiEasy, this is the first page you will see, the dashboard. You can see the traffic and the sales numbers of your current status. But if you haven't linked up any eBay account here, you will not see any of this data. So please link up an eBay account first. Let's go to channel, sales channel. In this page, please click the add account button. Then choose eBay as type of the channel. Then you will see two input box here. The first input box, please type in the eBay ID that you want to connect. This is the username of your eBay account, not your registered email. So please type it right. And the second input box is a name that's short for this account, and you can make it easy to remember. It's just for internal use. After clicking Save, the page will go to eBay and uh, please log in to that account you just tapped in. Then eBay will ask you if you want to allow SodaEasy to access your account and retrieve account info and uh, listing info. So please agree to that terms and conditions. Then the page will go back to SodaEasy. Normally, you will see a green link next to your account, but if you don't see a green link, there's no need to panic. You can simply click the pencil button on the left, then you will see the channel token and the new eBay API status, the two APIs here. So what is an API? That's an application interface that SodiEasy used to access your account information and the listing information. And eBay totally has two APIs. The first is for basic operations and the second is for some advanced operations. So when you click update token or update new eBay API token, the page will go to eBay and uh, please agree to that terms and conditions. Then the page will go back to SodiEasy again. So now you have successfully linked up an eBay account to SodiEasy. What happens now? First, SodiEasy will import all your current listings from your eBay account. Where can we view all those listings? Please go to Listing, Live Listing, then Listing Maintenance. In this page, you can view listings by account or by site or some custom criteria. And SodaEasy will generate a local copy 
for each of the those listings. The local copy of a listing is called data sheet. And if you don't see a data sheet RID next to the listing, please click the yellow GD button on the left. GD stands for Generate Data Sheet. Also, when Solisi imported all of your listings, Solisi will also generate a business profile for your account. A business profile is a data profile that includes like shipping return payment settings of a listing. You can use the predefined profiles to create new listings later on. And also, Solisi will generate free templates for you. You can go to Tools, Designer, Template Designer, and see all the free templates generated by Solisi. Let's take a look at this template generated by Solisi. Click Edit, then we will see what it looks like. So this is the template, and every element of this template is editable. Like if we don't want this item specifics, we can click the dust bin button to remove it. And if we want it back, we can click the body button on the left, then choose item specifics, and then click it and drag it and drop to the position that you want it to be. The color might not be what you desired, but you can change the color, the pattern of this element. Let's use a blue one. Confirm. Now it's back. And we can save our template. Click the red save and your template is ready to use. Now it's time to make our first listing in Solisi. Please go to Listing, Datasheet, Datasheet Maintenance. This is where we can revise current listings and make new listings. Please remember to make changes here and then synchronize your changes to eBay. So first, please click Create Datasheet. We have three ways to create a datasheet. First is to create from scratch. Second is to create from product SKU. You can define an SKU info in our inventory management and then use it here. Like if you have all these products, you can make listings directly from this data. Or there is a third way to make a listing, the listing spy function. So let's see how it works. So let's go to eBay and find a random listing on eBay. This is from another seller. So we have their item number. We're going to sell this product. Copy the item number and we go back here and paste the listing ID here. Then we choose the eBay account that we want to use and then choose the business profile that we want to use. Because that's, that listing was listed in eBay Motors site, so we have to choose eBay Motors. And we can choose the listing template that we just saw earlier. Click Create. Okay, so here is the details of this imported product data. A SODIC data sheet is consisted of six parts. 
The first part is listing basic. You have to input item info like title and eBay category and condition, item country and item specifics. You might notice that there are some fields that marked with red asterisks. These are mandatory fields. Please fill in these fields first, then others you may choose to fill in them later. The second part is item and price. The mandatory fields are SKU and lot size and quantity and price and currency and payment method. Then let's go to shipping and returns. Here you will specify how you are going to ship out your item to the listing site country and to the rest of the world. Then you will specify how long it will take before you can ship out and whether you accept returns or not and uh, how are you going to handle the return requests. Then let's go to the descriptions part. Here we have already specified the template that we want to use. Then we can copy our item title here and then give it some text descriptions. Let's click and see the details. This template will use this text description and the product data to generate the final description. And let's see the photos. We have already uploaded these product photos. If you want to add more, just click Add or Remove Photos. You can click Drop Files to upload and select the files from your computer. And if you want to switch the order of these photos, just click on the photo and drag it to the position that you want it to be and click Apply. Then you're all set. Then we will go to the final part of this data sheet, Other Settings. There are some listing upgrades for a an eBay listing, like if you want to have bolder title or gallery plus, then you might want to, then it might cost you extra fees. So normally people just choose gallery here. And if you don't have any other special requirements, this data sheet is done. Let's save and verify. Okay, so the data of this data sheet passed our verification process. We can click the yellow button to list it to eBay, but before we list it, we can preview how it looks like on eBay. Just click the magnifier button on, on the right.
and you might notice that there is a listing fee here. Please pay attention to it before you list it to eBay. Then we can click List Now. Then this data sheet will be listed to eBay. Okay, so we have successfully created a data sheet and listed it to eBay. Now let's click the 12 digit item ID to go to eBay and see the real listing. So this is the real listing on eBay. Let's see how it looks like. So it has item titles and uh, gallery photos and uh, compatibility table. And here is the description. Okay, now let's go back to SodaEasy. Now, if you want to know more about SodaEasy operations, you might click the question button and find a tutorial. Then you can see all the tutorial articles of, of our system. Also, if you want to contact our staff, you can click the earphone button. When it's office hour time, you can choose to chat with our staff. If it's not office hour, you can choose to leave a message. Okay, that's all for today's webinar. Thank you for watching.